after a week one victory at home against the Broncos, the Giants travel to the land of Rocky Balboa and she stakes to take on the Eagles at Lincoln Financial Field. We'll start things off at the start of the second quarter as Nick Foles hooks up with Jordan Matthews' as slot man, gets down into Giants territory, then a handoff to LaShawn McCoy who gets a first down coming off a week one victory where they had three rushing touchdowns from Shady, but that did not count here. He's on third and three, he can't get the first down. The kicking team comes out and they nail it right down the middle. It's a 3 0 Eagles lead to start off this ball game. And the G Men take over. Chapman hand off to their running back, their workhorse, Kean Hightower, the former Texas Longhorn, gets the first down later on the drive. They're on the 35. Cobb in motion, and Chapman would hit Randall Cobb. Breaks a tackle and then gets a few more yards. Gets down to the 22. And on third and seven on the 18, Chapman with the play action would hook up with his fullback, Hynoski. He breaks a tackle, but he can't not get the first down so Clint Ramsey the Mr. Irrelevant kicker comes on nails the field goal and we're all tied up at three pick things up Eagles drive Nick Foles dropping back here comes the pressure he throws a pick as John Beeson comes down with that for the Giants as he's falling to the ground so the G-men take over Donnie Chapman drops back on first down gets sacked by Vincent Ray and it brings up a second and 23 on the 47. Here comes Vincent Ray once again. And it brings up a third and 32. Chapman is looking defeated, but he comes up, throws a lob down the left-hand side of the field, and Mohamed Sanu comes down with it, breaks a tackle, drags three men into the end zone, and Mohamed Sanu, the former Rutgers Scarlet Knight, gives the Giants a 10-3 lead heading into halftime pick things back up in the third as Shady has a run to the outside he gets down into G-Men territory then on third and ten Foles evades a sack hits Jordan Matthews in stride breaks two tackles and Jordan Matthews punches it into the end zone and we are all tied up at ten here in the third quarter pick things back up in the fourth Donnie Chapman with the ball, rolls out to his right, hooks up with Muhammad Sanu on the crossing route, gets down into Eagles territory. Later on the drive, it's second and three. Chapman once again, similar play. Crossing route, hooks up with the Sanu once again. The kicking team would have to come out in the field as Ramsey makes it a 13 to 10 Giants lead over the Eagles. But then later on the fourth, the Eagles take over. On fourth and two, needed to convert, and they do. They hook up with their tight end. He gets down for a first down to the 36. Very next play. Foles in the pocket. All the time in the world, he could make a hot pocket back there. And he fires for Jordan Matthews, who would be injured the play, would come back later. But on the very next play, Foles finds Zach Ertz in the corner of the end zone. And the Eagles take a 17-13 lead. And then Donnie Chapman has one more drive left. And he throws a pick right to Leon Hall, the top corner for the Eagles, as he takes it all the way to the house for the pick six. As they lengthen their lead to above a touchdown, the Giants would have a bit of time left, as with a minute left in the ball game, Donnie Chapman finds Odell Beckham Jr. way down the sidelines, down to the 18 on the next play. Chapman in the pocket, rolls out to his left, here comes the pressure, goes to the end zone for Victor Cruz, but it's batted down into the hands of Vincent Ray, who had nine tackles, two sacks, and a pick on the day. He takes a knee, ends the game, and that would be how the cookie would crumble. As the Philadelphia Eagles improve the 2-0 on the season, the Giants drop the 1-1 with an Eagles victory of 24-13 here in Week 2. Now, with that being said, that'll wrap things up here at Lincoln Financial Field. Don't forget to tune in next time here as the G-Men take on the 0-2 Dallas Cowboys in Week 3. I've been your host, Jersey Bourne, and I'm saying goodbye.